Siwa. Thank you for tuning in. I don't know, are people going to call, like, like, are people in school right now at the moment? Like, let me know if you are actually going into school or if you are in online classes. Excuse me, I've been drinking cranberry juice, so got a little burp. Okay, it went away. Um, so, today I want to talk about pros and cons of attending Pace University. I know a lot of my followers are looking to go to Pace University or they're thinking about it and I just want to tell you about like my experience and my journey at Pace. So the pros, your school, your campus is in Manhattan. So there's a Manhattan campus and a Pleasantville, Pleasantville campus. If you choose the Manhattan, I just actually, can I, I want to like be specific and talk about the Manhattan. Actually, no, because I went to Pleasantville and Manhattan, but I guess I will pinpoint. So for, I'm so sorry, back to my pros. Being in the Manhattan campus is the most beautiful environment ever. You're located in the financial district. You are right by Brooklyn Bridge. You are close to, to Wall Street. Like you are in the hub of everything and it's an amazing view if you stay in Maria's Tower if you stay in Beekman that those those are the names of the dorms you have a beautiful view of the city the city is your campus like that is the number one pro that you have the city at your backyard disposal okay another pro is that there are amazing amazing clubs that you can join where you can meet new people, you can explore whatever you want to explore and just like your education and knowledge. And one thing I do want to share, there is like a life after college class, like a financial, I don't know, it's called something else, but there is a class that people don't know of because I took the class and it was like eight of us in that class. So you should totally take it, like find out if that class is still going on. I really have to find out. Maybe I'll put it in the description below. And um, the other pro is that you get money. Okay, so don't forget, I graduated in 2019. We are in 2022. So some things might have changed. But another pro is that you get a campus, what is it called? You get like a card to spend on food places all around you. So there's like a melt shop around us. There's a Chipotle. There's like pizza shops. You get money on a card. I think it was like $200 to spend all around you like that is amazing so if you didn't want to eat campus food you can definitely eat outside food and i loved it and one of my favorite part is that the school is pretty like that's another pro like another pro is that they have student centers all around school so basically a student center is where you can go to study hang out with your friends do homework if you have a club you can meet with your club in that student center. I really do love the spaces. I think like the spaces on the Manhattan campus was my favorite thing because if I didn't feel like being in my dorm room, I would come to like the lounge or I would come to like a student lounge or whatever the case might be. But there is a lot of student centers. Another pro is that the library is open very late. And I'm, I just want to repeat and be clear that I'm speaking on pros and cons of my experience when I was there in 2019. So please, if anything has changed, do not come back and yell at me. One more thing is that um, 41 Park Row has an art workshop, like an art shop, like an art display for all the artists. And they have really cool, I'm not gonna lie to you, I think, the most important pro is that Pace has a lot of really cool classes and creative classes for all of my creative people that you could really utilize. Like their professors, we have some really good professors. Like I, I give them a clap. We have some really good professors. Now for the cons. As you know, one of the pros, another pro before I jump to the con is that our meals for like the lunch, the cafeteria, they changed often. Like we had a chef special change often and when the chefs would cook, 
It was really, really good meals. Now for the con, the cafeteria food is not good. Now this is not contradicting what I'm saying about like when we had like a chef special, like the chef special is when we had somebody special come in, maybe like Friday nights and cook like really like hibachi grill, some really good food, it'll be good. But in general, cafeteria food was not it. The sandwiches, not it. Sorry, they needed some new, they need to hire some new chefs. I'm so sorry to whoever I'm offending right now, but it was not it. A con, the food was not good. And I would say that for the residential housings, for the dorm rooms, I was not pleased with the way the staff handled the residential dorm rooms. I feel like the staff could have been better, well suited, and they wait and the way they picked their RA system was very hard, very tedious because I applied twice. And I'm not saying it because I didn't get picked to be an RA, but the process is still really excruciating and it's annoying and I don't think it's a fair chance. And also the guest system, having guests in your residential dorm, it was hard to bring somebody in because of all the rules. Like, actually, do I want to say that? They just had a curfew. They had a curfew for the guests. They, they had to be signed out at a certain time, and I didn't like that. But maybe that's just like my personal opinion. But it's this is my video, so it's still a con to me. Another con, the biggest con of all, the school's expensive, very, very expensive. I don't think it's worth it because you can go to another school and learn the same thing. Honestly, school teaches you how to be a worker. It doesn't teach you how to be a boss. So I would definitely say that find classes that teach you about buying a car once you graduate or like buying a house or how to look for a job like a career what to look for how to negotiate salary like there needs to be a class like that so i have so many freaking cons because there are no classes like that at all and if there is somebody please correct me there was only one class that i knew of which was life after college and that class only eight of us were in there. So I would urge you to really find it because once you graduate, life is tough. Paying back student loans, it's not cute. It's really not cute. And the uh, so the con, the school's expensive. The tuition goes up every year. So that's, that's another thing to really consider. That's another thing to consider. I don't really have a lot of bad things to say about Pace. Like, I had a good experience. I would say stay in the dorm. Like, I had a really good experience. My only con is that they didn't give you a lot of financial aid. Yeah, they, they also don't give you a lot of financial aid. So that's something to, like, really pay attention to. They don't give you a lot of scholarships or grants, in my opinion, because they didn't give me a lot. And like I said, this is my video, so I'm just saying things that are personal to me, and you can take it how you want, but I'm just being my honest and truthful self. But other than, other than the school being expensive and didn't teach me how to really, like, live outside of being an adult, like, finding, finding an apartment, negotiating, um, credit scores, I didn't learn anything like that. And I don't think like having a big name as a school really helps you in my opinion. So I feel like you could go anywhere and learn the same thing, honestly. But I think the best part was that you got to live in Manhattan if you go to the Pace University campus. Um, so honestly, these were things from top of my head because I've been thinking about doing this video. I didn't write anything down, so I'm so sorry if it's like all over the place, but I love you guys. And ask me questions. I will answer them. Ask me questions if I didn't answer anything. Um, but please do not ask me a question that is in any of my other Pace University videos. Just read the comments on the other videos. That Whatever one you're interested in watching, read the comments because a lot has been said. <laughs> Thanks for watching and enjoy your, enjoy your school year. <laughs>